Hello and welcome to this Astranti video. Today we'll be looking at a question from our objective test video series on the topic of cyber security. Risks to businesses in this digital age are everywhere and it is essential that they can be identified and that you are well prepared to face them, which is what we'll be considering in this question. This is from P3 chapter 14, but it's also relevant for those of you studying for P2 and if that wasn't enough, it also overlaps with E1 and E3, which consider how businesses transform to thrive in a digital world. If you want more videos on this topic and many more, they can be found as part of our full course on the Astranti website. But first, let's jump straight in to looking at this question. Let's now take a look at question five. And for our fifth question, the syllabus reference is determine internal and external threats arising from malware and recommend defences. So Company G is a large manufacturing company. The company is working on a new project and its employees frequently email each other with documents concerning different aspects of the product. So based on this information, the question asks us to fill in the gaps in the following sentences. So we have a rogue employee placing USB drives containing malware labeled redundancy 20x0 around the office is a blank threat, internal or external. A suitable defense against this threat would be blank. Then our second sentence is sensitive business information being accessed due to the company's IT system being infected due to a Trojan is a blank threat. A suitable defense against this threat would be blank. So let's go through each of these short paragraphs one by one and talk about the various different options. So option A relates to this rogue employee. So what they're doing by placing these USB drives with the malware and then labeling them redundancy 20XO is trying to tempt people into picking them up and putting them into their computers. So in this way, the employee is carrying out a baiting attack. So again, we're playing on the psychology, people's curiosity to try to ensure that people do actually infect their computers with malware, again, by plugging in the USB drives. Now, crucially, for the context of this question, this attack is being carried out by a rogue employee, somebody who's already in the organization, somebody who's already a familiar face around the office, and therefore, this constitutes an internal threat. A cyber attack is being conducted by somebody internal, not external, to the organization. So I'll just write internal in that blank. So what about a defense? What would be a suitable defense against this type of cyber attack? So our three options are using a spam filter, employee training, or blocking all downloads on company computers. Well, putting a USB drive into a computer isn't a type of download. We're not downloading anything from the internet. So this rules out this option. Additionally, what about using a spam filter? Well, the function of a spam filter is to attempt to filter out non-useful emails from our inboxes. So unwanted advertisements, newsletters, promotions, and so on. So again, this wouldn't help us with the USB drives. However, what would help would be employee training, telling employees of company G, well, first of all, not to pick up these USB drives once these have been identified as being around the office, but also more generally, not to just pick up random USB drives that you find around the office and put them into company IT devices, just being overall vigilant with regard to the ways in which cyber attackers can operate with baiting, which is the type of attack as we've discussed being carried out here, being a major form of cyber threat. So a suitable defense would be implementing this employee training. So I'll write two, as this is the second gap, as the phrase employee training won't fit just there. So moving on to our second paragraph, sensitive business information being accessed due to the IT system being infected by a Trojan. So a Trojan is when we have what appears to be a legitimate piece of software. However, hidden inside that legitimate looking piece of software is malicious code, some malware. So this malware could enable the person who programmed that piece of malware to then gain access to information held on the computer system that's been infected. 
which, if it was one of Company G's computer systems, would very likely hold some sensitive business information, for example, relating to the company's new project. So this would be an external threat. Trojans are downloaded from elsewhere into an organization's computer system, as again, the reason why people do download Trojans is because they look like useful pieces of software. So by trying to do a good thing, by trying to install this useful software, we inadvertently install the malware too. And therefore this is an external threat. So what about a suitable defense? Well, a suitable defense in this case for company G against Trojans would actually again be employee training. So I'll write this down as also our fourth option in the gap fill. So why is this? Well, remember that we installed the Trojan inadvertently by downloading useful looking bits of software. So there is a human element to accidentally downloading Trojans in the sense that perhaps if we were again more vigilant with what we download from the internet, we can avoid infecting our company IT devices just because we've become better at recognizing these non-legitimate pieces of software. Company G can inform its staff, it can train them to only download software from certain websites, certain trustworthy software vendors. So in contrast, the use of a spam filter, again, wouldn't help the company here. So again, filtering out promotional emails just wouldn't help with regards to Trojans. Further, blocking all downloads on company computers wouldn't be appropriate for company G. We know that company G's employees frequently email each other with documents concerning different aspects of the project, and this type of communication will be vital as that project proceeds and goes forward. So if we were to block all downloads on that company's computers, then we would no longer be able to download these documents, which would impede communication greatly. Therefore, employee training is the most appropriate measure of the options provided. And so these are our correct answers. So we're now at the end of this Astranti video, but there are more to be found on our website as part of our full course. On there, you can also find mocks and revision notes to help you pass your exams. If you want to hear more from us, why not subscribe to one of our social media accounts? We can be found on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.